Okay, you guys, we'll get started because this is going to be a whirlwind um, game. So, um, my name is Michelle Carney. I'm from the University of Michigan. On behalf of myself and my colleagues, I would want to thank you for, for coming to our, our workshop and having some fun with us. Um, it's building leadership skills, consider a positive angle. We have no disclosures. To, so to structure this talk a little bit, I'm going to talk for about five minutes just um, about different leadership models and then a little introducing the concept of positive leadership. And then we're going to get together into small groups and we're going to play a game. And we're going to apply positive leadership skills to each participant by solving your real world problem. So if you can think of a problem, a leadership problem, that you would like to be maybe solved while we're here, um, think of it so that we can later come back to it. And then after our, our interactive session, we're going to come back together as a big group and talk about it. So some of the traditional leadership models, Alexander the Great is a perfect example of the great man leader. He was charismatic and brutal. He was known as a natural born leader. He was born to lead. Churchill, however, was a situational leader. He was a brilliant leader in wartime, but not so good during peacetime. So right situation, right man, wrong situation, wrong man. Martin Luther King Jr. was a transformational leader. He was very charismatic. He promoted a vision and everybody came on board to that vision. He was a great leader in that respect. Toyota is a path goal leader. And path goals, they rely, on, they're task driven and so they motivate their subordinates to get on the task and then at that point, the subordinates think, what will this task give me? How can I, what will I get out of this task? So traditional leadership models, their target is change others. Their focus is comfort centered. Their expectations are externally directed and their relations are self-focused. So that leads us to the positive leadership model. And so we're going to kind of contrast traditional versus positive leadership so you can see how it's a little bit different. So they change the focus from changing others to changing themselves. So they're a participant in the activity. They will change themselves to, for the good of the group. Change their focus from comfortable and routine to learning and growth. So traditional leaders do what they've always done. This is what they were taught to do. This is how they're going to lead. This is what they've always done. Whereas pos positive leaders will learn new things, change the way they do things for the betterment of the group. Changing expectations from externally directed to internally directed. Traditional leaders have external, um, there, there are forces placed upon them from the group. So their department places expectations on them and they need to lead to those expectations. Whereas internally, internally uh, positive leaders are internally directed. They lead by what their core values are and what they believe in and what they think is going to help grow the, the group. So changing relationships. Traditional leaders are self-focused. Research shows that 75% of all professionals are self-focused in that they look at what their goals are, what they need to get done, and they lead in that way. They lead to get their goals accomplished. Whereas positive leaders look at their group and they say, what can I do for the betterment of the group? How can I be involved? How can I change myself so that the whole group is, um, is better? 
So now I've compared and contrasted traditional leaders and positive leaders. We're going to play a little game. And we're going to use some cards, and the cards will have strategies on them. We're going to use those strategies to help people flourish and exceed expectations in a new and innovative way. And it's an exercise on structured brainstorming on behalf of others so that your group will help you solve your real world problem. This was um, developed by two professors at our business school at the Ross Business School at the University of Michigan. So let's get into our groups. We have a dealer. I'm going to explain the rules, and then you have facilitators at each group that will kind of help facilitate.